it's me, Rama, and today I'm demonstrating how you can use UE4's net driver to make a replay system for your game, even if your game's not focused only on multiplayer combat. The uh, requirement is that you have to code everything at the C++ level using a custom character movement component, but I wanted to show you the results if you do for your game for as a replay system. So I'm going to say demo record, and I'm going to call the file name 1. So now I'm recording, and I'm going to run around, going to just do stuff. Now in my game I have this fun little flying ability where you can spiral around. I also have a roll, where you can roll and then go places like that. And uh, crouching around, looking around, rolling, and going to jump. Where oh, I was going to jump. <laughs> uh, oh, and I have a V key, so there's a sprint too. So here I'm running normally. Here I'm sprinting, running normally, sprinting, looking around. This is all being recorded, so I'm going to sprint jump up here, then dash, dash, and that'll be, uh, let's go over here too, and over here, and that'll be recording one, except I missed. <laughs> Alright, so that's recording one, so I'm say demo stop. Now I'm going to play the recording, and here's the really fun part. This isn't really specifically a multiplayer game, but imagine you wanted a replay system for your game where you didn't want to have to record everything as video. See, this is actually programmatic. This doesn't cost, you know, what it would cost to actually do a regular video. This is actually programmatically being recreated by the demo net driver of UE4. And my game isn't really focused only on multiplayer, I just want a replay system for my game, and this allows me to do that. All this custom character movement, the uh, the sprinting, the rolling, and that fun little stat thing, that spiraling jumping thing, all of this is, is being recorded perfectly because it's as if it's a multiplayer game. So I had to do all of the fancy, really hardcore C++ character movement coding to get this to work, but the great result is that now I have a recording of this of my game with all of its custom mechanics and uh, it's really, really lightweight. You know, this long of a... <laughs> I always miss that. I want to see that roll again. <laughs> um, I'm gonna st I'm gonna stay right here so I can see the roll. I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna face this way. All right, here here he comes. Ready? There's me. Roll! Look, I rolled. Or character rolled. So look at how well everything is is replaying. Every little thing I did, the rotation, everything looks great. And this is I'm like not controlling any of this. This is literally a replay. <laughs> so. You know, it's just such an amazing mechanic. The, the complication is you have to code everything at the C++ level, but if it's worth it to you, this is what you get. A really, really lightweight, high-quality recording of everything you do in the game. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Whee! Oh, I missed. <laughs> so, that is that. Now I'm going to show you how big that file is. That recording that we just made, sort of saved. Demos 1. Let's go back, sorry. Pro properties. Look, that's how big the recording is. <laughs> 129 kilobytes. Now, this recording is uh, relatively long. If we were to make a fraps of that, you know how big that file would be? Really, really big. This is programmatic. Oh, it has such huge advantages. Now, one other feature I wanted to demonstrate is that in addition to the you can also change the time dilation so I'm going to say time dilation of let's see I want to use I want to go in slow motion so let's go time dilation then let's reload our video again so I want to say demo play one and let's see what this is like in slow motion 0 0.5 look at this <laughs> I think I just love this Whee! <laughs> Turning around, and we're going! Whee! <laughs> <coughs> I want to see this roll again. Look at the roll! <laughs> so, you know, that's another thing you can't really do as easily with Fraps or some other software if you wanted to make this a feature in the game. Certainly not this lightweight. You can just programmatically control replay rate and everything. It doesn't look infinitely perfect, but I mean, think about 
the cost here? 192 kilobytes, was it? About 200 kilobytes? Like, that's just tiny. It's so good. Whee! Slow-mo! So, again, if you're willing to make the project have C++ custom character movement component, then you can have a replay system for your game extremely lightweight. As lightweight as it can possibly get, <laughs> in my opinion. And looking really good. Look at him go! <laughs> I, by the way, I did the animation for that spiral myself. That sword spiral, I did that myself. i uh, really pleased with how that came out. See how he blends in? He blends out of it when he lands? Except I miss here, so you can't see it. But, uh, yeah, but I blend out of it using the animation blueprint. It's really cool, really fun. So, that is my video on programmatic recording system. Just gonna do time dilation of two. Wait, no, two. And then we can watch it one last time at double speed. It'll be fun. Look at him go! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, programmatic recording system in UE4, if you have the network coding, if you write all the C++ network encoding for it, wee, there he goes, last sequence, <laughs> have fun today.